Hello and welcome to this tutorial on TweenGMS for GameMaker Studio 2. In this lesson we will be reviewing the Tween Create and Tween Play scripts, which allow you to create and play persistent reusable tweens. These scripts are an optional alternative to the Tween Fire scripts and differ slightly in how they function. If you have not already done so, I highly recommend you first watch my tutorial on Fire Tweens. I will have a link to that tutorial in the video description below. For this example, I have placed our test object in this test room. To show how tween create and tween play work, we will tween this object's x and y position. Let's go ahead and open up our test object's properties. And from here, we're going to add an event, create. And inside this create event, we will create a new tween using tween create. Now, before continuing, I want to mention the major difference with the tween fire scripts. Tweens created with tween fire play right away and are automatically destroyed when they finish playing. However, tweens created with tween create won't play until the script tween play is called on them, and they won't be automatically destroyed when they finish playing. This allows you to reuse the tween as it is persistent and continues to exist unless you manually destroy it. However, tweens created with tween create will still be destroyed and automatically cleared from memory if their target instance is destroyed. All right, with that out of the way, let's continue looking at our tween create script. Here we have two options with tween create. We can either create a defined tween or an undefined tween. If we only supply the first target argument, as you can see down here, then we will create an undefined tween, which must be defined later when calling the tween play script. So let's leave this as an undefined tween, supplying ID as our target argument to associate the tween with our test object. Now to reference this created tween, we need to assign the returned tween ID to a variable. We will call this variable tween undefined. Now let's go and add another object event for testing our tween with tween play. I'm going to add event, key pressed, space. So when we press space, our tween will play out. Here we can write tween play. And now down here, we need to supply a tween argument. And we're going to use the undefined tween ID handle we created in the create event. So I'll write tween undefined. And I'm going to use ease in out quad as our easing script. And I'm going to set zero as our play mode. And I'm going to use delta, I'm going to set delta as false so that we use step timing. We don't want any delay, so I'll put zero. And we're going to do a duration of 30 steps. And we're going to ease the x variable from the current x position to 100 pixels right. And we'll also tween the y variable from the y position to 100 pixels down. So let's run this project and see it in action. Now when I press space, our object will tween 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. And when I press space again, it will reuse the tween and tween another 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. Now let's jump back to our object's create event and create a defined tween. Below our previous tween create call, we will write tween defined equals tween create ID. And now we're going to supply the rest of these optional arguments to fully define our tween at creation. So we will write ease in out quad as our easing script. We'll use a mode of zero. We will set the delta to false to use step timing. We'll do a delay of zero, a duration of 30 steps. And we will ease the x variable from its current x position to 100 pixels right. And we'll ease the y position from y to 100 pixels down. All right, we've now created a tween that is fully defined. Let's move back to our space event and play it. First, I'm going to comment out our first uh, tween play call. And below that, we will write tween play tween defined. 
Because our tween is already defined at creation, we only need to supply the first tween ID argument. So let's run our project and check it out. As you will see, when I press space, this tween plays out exactly the same as the other defined tween. But notice what happens when I press space again and reuse the tween. The tween will jump back to its original xy position instead of using its new relative position. This is because the tween was defined only once at the create event, whereas the undefined tween was defined every time we press space. So it's good to be mindful of the difference in this case. Now one last thing to show you is how defined tweens can be overridden. Let's comment out our first tween play call and write below it tween play tween defined. We will use the same tween ID as up here. But now we are, we are going to supply the rest of the optional arguments for overriding the existing defined values. We will write ease in out back for our easing script algorithm. We will set a mode of zero. This time we will use uh, true for delta timing, so we will use seconds instead of steps for timing. We'll do a delay of zero, and we'll do a duration of three seconds since we are using step timing, I mean seconds timing. And we will ease our image angle from zero to 360 degrees so that we do a full 360 degree spin. Now let's run our project again. And when I press space, you can now see that we have overridden our defined tween with new values. So no matter if our tween is defined or undefined, supplying all the play script arguments will always override a tween's existing values. And that's it for this quick review of tween create and tween play scripts. But before I finish, I want to mention one more thing. You might be wondering why you would use tween create and tween play instead of using tween fire. The reason is that there may be times when you want a tween to be persistent and reusable. You may not see a need for that now, but as your needs become more complex, these scripts will offer you more functionality for setting up and running your tweens as needed. Anyhow, I hope this lesson has been helpful and serves you well. I look forward to you joining in future videos. As always, happy tweening!